Hey everyone, so in this new screencast we are going to take a look at um, the Anaconda Python distribution. Please see the description for um, a brief overview of what Anaconda is and why would you want to use it. And um, maybe if you haven't heard the term Python distribution before, uh, might just want to take a look at what exactly is the problem that um, Python distributions such as Anaconda is, are trying to solve. Anyway, so let's get started with the installation. Um, so Anaconda is a product by Continuum Analytics. And if you go to their homepage, which is um, continuum.io, if you go to their products, it will just, you will find Anaconda here. So you'll just click on it. And you can read a brief overview of what Anaconda is and what are the Python packages that are available in Anaconda. and. Um, others which you can also install using the package manager which is called conda um, so we're just going to go right ahead and download the installer um, you have to enter your email address and for and you might want to check it just to make I mean if you're interested in uh, learning more or basically staying updated with what anaconda guys are up to um, so as you can see here, there are installers for Linux, uh, Mac, and Windows. Um, this screencast is obviously going to cover installation on um, Windows. In this screencast, we are just going to um, cover the installation on Windows. Um, so if we scroll down, you will see the installers here. Um, so that's the Windows 32-bit and 64-bit installers. However, these are all Python 2 installers. I am going to actually demonstrate the installation of um, the Anaconda 3 installers which is basically the installers uh, which will install a Python 3 only environment. And uh, here again you can see the installers for Linux, Mac, OS X and Windows. Um, so I'm going to just download um, the 64-bit uh, installer from here. Just if you click here the installer is going to start downloading. and. Um, I already have a copy downloaded so I'm just going to double click on it and um, that should start the installation. Um, just a basic security warning. Click on next um, license agreement you may just want to go through it if you care about it um, but like me or <laughs> a lot of people if you don't care just click I agree um, so this is where you basically select if um, this installation is going to um, be available to be used just by you or if there are other people using your computer by everybody so uh, I'm just going to select just me and um, just go ahead with it so that uh, so if you have multiple users they can just install um, a separate anaconda installation for themselves it doesn't require any administration privileges um, so I'm just going to click on next um, so this is where you basically select where it's going to be installed so let's say we'll install it under something like anaconda in um, anaconda 3 installation you can basically give any other directory here this directory must not exist so just mm, be careful about that and we'll just um, so as you can see it requires about 310 MB of space uh, and obviously I have like I have way more than that's required so if you're running short of disk space this may be a consideration and you may want to install it to a directory which has enough space if I just click next um, one, so this is where uh, it asks you for a couple of other configuration options. So add Anaconda to my path environment variable. So if you're from, um, so the Windows path environment variable basically um, ensures the directory paths that are looked up when you type a command on the Windows um, command line. So if you select this option, whenever you um, say try to open the Python um, interpreter or any of the programs that Anaconda installs it will first look up the Anaconda installation directories and 
most cases this is what you would want to do it so I'm just going to select the checkbox and the second option is register anaconda as my default python 3.4 um, so this is uh, this anaconda installer basically uh, installs a python 3.4 um, um, and like version so python uh, that's the latest in the python latest version of python 3 depending on whether you, if you use any of this uh, other software which is the python tools for visual studio or um, wing id pycharm pydev you may want to do this uh, we'll just select it um, um, we'll just ignore this warning this is because I already have Anaconda installed but you are not most likely going to see this if you are installing Anaconda 3 for the first time so just uh, you may leave this unchecked but I would recommend adding the first one definitely because um, it ensures that um, the Anaconda packages are the first ones which are being looked up and including the interpreter and everything. So once this is done, just select install. And this will take a while. So till that, just um, you know, do something else like probably, okay. Yeah, so if you want to know or learn about Anaconda, you can just browse the documentation so I think um, yeah so that's the documentation so it's going to load and as you can see there are uh, basically install guide there's a quick start guide and uh, if you're using on the IDE there's a guide for that as well so um, Okay, we'll just wait till the installation is over. In the meantime, I'm just going to. Well, you can also just sh do show show details to see what all it's installing. Maybe a good idea if you don't have mo if you haven't um, if you aren't aware of what are the packages it's going to install. Um, so yeah. Okay, once the installation is complete, we are going to see this. Um, completed message here and uh, then we click next and we'll just click finish so that's complete and completes our installation um, now if you go to the start menu um, you're going to see a new menu group which is anaconda 64 bit and um, there are various options so these are basically shortcuts to other um, python tools like the ipython um, spider wakari and um, various related options so we are not going to get into those we are just going to um, um, so first of all we're just going to take a look at two of these things so one is the browse anaconda installation directory now uh, if you remember this is the directory where we chose we want that you chose during the installation and we told anaconda to install here and this is where it is um, here you can see that um, couple of applications which is python and python w you will recognize these if you have programmed in python before so this is basically the python 3.4 interpreter and as you can see from this um, uh, console it says python 3.4.1 anaconda 2.0.64 bits so we'll just skip it so nothing much to be seen here you can just start regularly programming um, actually there is one bit that you may be interested in which is um, so import the sys module and if you print sys path you will see that um, the anaconda installation directories are added here um, ignore the simple cv this is something that i had installed already but the key here is um, these um, anaconda 3 installation directories which um, okay so that's all so what i'm going to do now is we're going to find idle which is ideally which is the python ide that you may be already familiar with so it's a little hidden here so you need to go to the lib directory and go to idle lib and then there is a idle dot batch batch file so if you click on this um idle should start um Let's see. Yeah, it's starting now. 
so and once again this is a python 3.4 shell but this is idle so you can start basically writing programs in it so for example let's say um let's write a actually um yeah let's let's write a program which uses um matplotlib to inst draw a plot so anacota includes a matplotlib um among various other packages so let's say it will just um import ah, sorry for the typing matplotlib dot plot as plot plot just a basic hello world of plotting and we'll call show here um, we'll just save it save as you know some we can save it anywhere you want to so we'll just say save it on the desktop so let's say plot dot by okay and then we'll just run it and run module and we should see a matplotlib mat plot taking a while but it should be the plot should be shown very soon great and so that that's the plot uh, and yeah so basically your python 3 environment with matplotlib and all the other packages is ready and um, that's all i had to show in this screencast so thank you for watching and hope you find it found it useful